Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to an airbrush review. The Sotar 2020, is it any good? Well, we're gonna find out today in this little sort of demo. I'll do a little test spray out for you on the panel here. This is my first Badger airbrush, the first one I've ever owned. My wife brought me this for my birthday, for my 50th. I've chose the Sotar 2020 Slim, which is on a 0.2. As you can see in the picture here, you do not get a cup to the top or it isn't a side feed or bottom feed. These are a little scallop that's cut out in the top of the body of the airbrush. So you get maximum view with this brush when you use it for detail. You can see it all round, which is really nice. So we'll do a little unboxing. I'll move over to the table here. We'll do an unboxing. Let's have a look at this Sotar. So the actual brush comes in a cardboard box, nothing fancy. And that's what I like about when you get a brush, you don't need to have all the fancy boxing and packaging, literally get it in a standard, box standard cardboard box. And then when you open that box, you get it in another cardboard box. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick these up from. This was the best price that I got this for. No cardboard box, you open that, a little bit of foam on the top, nothing fancy again. Inside you get your certificate of authenticity with the Sotar. So a little bit of info about the brush on how you can break it down and things like that. So you get that in the box. Then inside that you get another bit of foam and your brush is in there. Now the actual brush itself comes with a little Allen key. Now this Allen key is for just tightening up the mechanism there at the bottom. That's basically a sort of like a little bit of support for your hand when you hold the brush. You don't get a crown cap with these, you just get a rubber Thing that goes over the front to protect the needle. The actual brush is the slim Sotar, so like I said in a minute ago, you don't get a cup or side feed or bottom feed. That is basically it. You get a little scallop to the top, little reservoir where you can drop a few drops of paint and you're good for airbrushing. The actual trigger is really nice. It's got a real soft slope to the front, quite grippy bit of top there, as you can see. So when you put your finger on, it just feels really nice, guys. It feels like this is gonna be a real responsive brush. You get a cutaway to the back, and on the backs of these normal airbrushes, your piece to the back of the brush covers your needle, but these are different. You get a little ball connect on the back of your needle. So when you undo the actual chuck, you can slide, just undo that chuck, you can slide the needles out like that. So it's, different, it's a bit different to what I'm used to. You locate your needle to the back and that just locates straight in. You slide it forward till you see it come out the front and then you will just tighten your chuck up like that. So it's getting used to a different style of setup for me. You've got your dial at the back as well so you can dial your trigger in. So if you, if you like using these and dialing your trigger in, to let so much paint out you can, but I usually have these fully open when I'm airbrush, so I've got full adjustment of the trigger, but a real light, comfortable brush. It's in a nice, sort of like anodized type black, nice coating. Everything else on the brush seems really very well put together. I won't do a strip down on this brush because there's loads of videos on YouTube on stripping these things down. So we'll just get straight into it. I'll hook the airline up, drop some paint in it and we'll see what the Sotar's like. I'll see you in a minute. We're running, I'll drop the pressure down to about 22 PSI. And we'll go for a bit of golden high flow in here. So a couple of drops. Just move you around to the easel. I'm just gonna give this a try. This is the first time trying this out of the box. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the trigger, guys. Oh my God, the trigger on this is incredible. It really is. I'm casting a bit of a shadow because I've got the easel and they've got the light coming across, you can see the shadow casting, so you might not be picking this up on camera. 
but the actual trigger response on this is incredible. Could probably turn the pressure down. This thing gets super down, and I mean with ease. It really does. I'm about five mil off, about 10 mil off the paper, and that's putting hairlines down with absolute ease. The trigger response is incredible, guys. This is, I would say, the responsiveness on this is Micron. That is incredible. It really is. Them dagger strokes there, them small dagger strokes, they're about five, six mil long. They're clean, absolutely clean to a point. Yeah, unbelievable trigger response. Atomize is nice. This paint is a bit grainy, I can hear it. But it's, it's atomizing it. Yeah, spray's really nice. And it's the trigger that's on point, which makes it just a great brush that you can get on with. What I'll do is I'll paint tomorrow with this. This little piece here is moving a bit. It probably wants tightening up to the bottom of the body. But the actual feel of the brush, it's really responsive. Dagger strokes with absolute ease. You can feel quite a bit of air movement around the front end when you're sort of close up. This really could go drop down more. So thin your paints right down, drop your pressure right down, and I think this will be even better. I think the pressure's a little bit too high. But this is ridiculously good for <laughs> hairlines. It just does it instantly. You're moving minimal on the trigger. You really are. And you're getting them hairlines 10 mil off the paper. Some brushes you're going right in, so you're near enough touching the paper with it. But this, I'm getting hairlines and I'm 10 mil off the paper. They're super. I'm trying to get right up close. Yeah, it's just an amazing brush. And what's nice is, as I say, you can see, I will use this tomorrow and you'll see this in tomorrow's video. We've got the other panel of the um, full focus to paint and it will be a joy to paint with this on that panel because you've got full view. You've got nothing blocking your way. You've not got a cup to the front at the top or the side. You've got that little scallop. And this will be perfect for tomorrow on the panels. So my thoughts on the Sotar guys, just a quick blast on what it can do. If I know a brush can get down like this, really, really easy, it's going to be a good brush and it's going to work. Just with that feel of that trigger and how responsive it is, it will be a brilliant brush. And it's the build quality is nice, the finish is nice on it, the trigger response is second to none, it really is. It feels, I would say, that feels better than a Micron on trigger response. It really is absolutely on point with the trigger. It's a little bit more blowy at the front. The Micron's a little bit more soft. This sounds a little bit more fierce, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'll paint with this, not a problem. Be a nice brush to paint with. 
comfortable in your hand. I had to buy the adapter for the Quick Connect. So, because they got these are slimmer here, but this could do with a water trap on and then the thing, and it'll give you that little bit more body to hold on to, and it'll make it even better. And it doesn't even seem like it's got any tip dry, it just, just keeps performing as you were uh, out of paint. That's with a transparent, I'm going to try it with an opaque black. Because I have noticed that that transparent on the golden has been a little bit grainy. This thing is just like sprays really nice and this is op neat opaque. And it just gets down. I must admit guys, this is probably the best point two settle I've tried on a brush. Out of the point two setups that I've got for responsiveness and paint straight out the bottle in the brush and spraying with no mucking around thinning, this will be even better when I get it dialed in with the air and have the paint to how I want it. That's just neat, opaque. It's just really nice to get on them details. Be a nice one to paint a portrait with. You can hear that paint's a little bit grainy. So, just need the paint thinning, thinning out slightly. Dial that pressure back a bit because it's a bit, I think it's a little bit high. This would work better at a lower pressure. And a little thinner paint. But a really nice brush, I could doodle with this all night. What I'll do is I will, if you join me tomorrow in tomorrow's video, it's gonna be a time lapse because it's a long piece to do, but I'm gonna use the SOTAR tomorrow on tomorrow's portrait and then at the end of that video I'll give you a full depth because I'll have this brush in my hand for five to six hours tomorrow and give it a really good run but just going off the bat out the box with transparent and opaque outstanding brush it really is the trigger response is absolutely perfect comfortable trigger as well with the nice slight slope comfortable trigger top I will probably change the back end on this to something different because I don't like the idea of this. It's just something new to me, probably get used to it. But other than that, it's just an amazing brush, guys, for the money. This was 128 for the Sotar Point 2 Slim. And just using it now on these two colours and going down on how it gets easily gets down on point with this, I think that's well worth the money. And there is not many brushes out there that's going to touch that on trigger response for getting detail down. Not at that price. I've got the H&S's. H&S's will do this. The Iwaters will do this. But this just seems to just... It does it easier, it does it a lot easier. And it's the trigger, it's that trigger that just... It's always the trigger with an airbrush. The trigger's no good. You are struggling to get them things down. But if you've got a really good airbrush with a responsive trigger, it makes it so much better to use. You can hear that's quite grainy. So I'll give that a little clean through. So if you join me tomorrow, I'm gonna to do a five hour hit with this brush tomorrow. 
I'm going to give it a little clean through. I'll have my paint sorted tomorrow as well to how I like painting with them. This was just for the demo straight out the bottle and it, and it sprayed it. And this is running at, I think it's just, just over 20 psi. It might be under, I can't see the gauge. But it, it sprayed right down. I mean, they are pencil line on some of these little lines, guys, and clean pencil lines, not a problem. Dagger strokes beautiful for dagger strokes it really is it just does a lovely soft fade out on the dagger stroke and it's all to do with the nice trigger so that's my little review on the sotar i'll give you a little update tomorrow if you join me tomorrow in the side panel because i'll be using this for five hours and i'll give you my opinion after five hours of use so i hope you've enjoyed this little look at the sotar slim 2020 gets a thumbs up from me so far just on this test panel I know this brush performs and works and will work spot on. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Cheers.